All right, so in order to plug more stuff into DJ Pro AI, we are gonna need one of these, which is a USB-C adapter that has at least two USB ports on it. These could have uh, like up to 10 or they make ones with a lot. So you could really plug any controller that'll work with DJ Pro. You could plug them all in at the same time. So you just plug one of your controller in to your adapter like normal. And then you just plug the other wire from the controller, the same wire that comes with the controller. You plug it into the adapter. It'll have a regular USB. Plug it in. And now if you look on the app, if I'm if I move the crossfader on the controllers right now, it doesn't do anything. But now I'm going to plug in the adapter with both of the cables plugged in. I'm using the Reloop Buddy and the new Mark DJ to go to touch, but you could do this with any other controller that you have. You, you could really let your creativity run through and make really modular setups. And it's also just really fun. So now we're plugging it in. So you see both controllers lighting up and be sure that when you pick out one of these uh, adapters that you get ones that could charge the iPad because both of these controllers right now are running off the power of the iPad. So it's gonna, going to drain a lot of battery. So you're going to want to have a way to plug in the iPad. All right, so if we move the crossfader on this controller, you see it moves, we move the jog wheel. And then now on the Reloop Buddy, the crossfader's working and the jog wheel's working. So as soon as you plug it in, you're gonna get the standard, uh, the standard layout of the controller that it, that it was set. Especially if it's a DJ Pro supported controller, then you're you're gonna have two regular DJ controllers, and this could be beneficial, especially with this setup, because on this controller you don't really have any EQ or pads or anything. So it, uh, I do it a lot of times when I DJ because not only do you have all of this controller, then you have all of the I DJ to go to touch. But you could also do this with like with the loop pads and other types of controllers. They don't have to be two of the same style, like two decks and a mixer controllers. But another thing you could do is you could set it up in four deck mode. So for this example, I'm gonna be using the Reloop Buddy as deck one and deck two. And then on deck three and four, I'm gonna have them be controlled by the new Mark DJ to go to touch. All right. All right, so now I mapped both controllers. So if you look at the screen, this is playing deck three. That's playing deck one. So one of the really good advantages of having two controllers plugged in obviously is you could have all four decks so you don't have to go out and buy another controller that features four decks, you can just use the controllers that you have. It's a good way to save money and get to the, get the most out of the stuff that you have just lying around. And it's really fun to experiment. Some controllers are better at doing other features than other, others. Like this controller is known for having the paddle effects and it has really good pads here. This one doesn't have any pads. It has very few knobs, but if you add them both together, you get the additional, you get the additional benefit of having both of them. And also stuff like the, like looper pads and launch pads and other type of controllers that aren't essentially just a regular controller. So if you guys like learning about DJ Pro and how to DJ with the iPad and what controllers are coming out soon, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thank you.